Scott, so I decided to go with shoulders. And thank you, ma'am, for having me on. Good to see you. Right on. It's, it's a pleasure. We, look, we do the show here in D.C. where on Sunday the defenders move to 3-0 and in a really exciting game against the Battle Hawks that got a little contentious late, a little chippy late. It's hard fought back and forth. We had maybe the biggest beer snake in the history of sports. I don't know that to be official. But in terms of a snapshot of your league, right, in week three, sunny day, big crowd, exciting game, I don't know how much better we could have done than that. How satisfying is it for you? You know, let, let me take a moment to acknowledge the city, you know, our nation's capital in D.C. They continue to show up and show out. And, you know, they have, they have there's this, this narrative that is beginning that they are they are becoming the chippiest, rowdiest, most fun crowd in pro football. Rick Flair. Talk about that beer snake. That, that beer snake, by the way, went out to the stadium. Yes, it did. So that was pretty cool. And I tell you, we were there opening uh, weekend two weekends ago and that place live is rocking and so if you're in that dc area you got to get to an xfl game you speak of second chances and this is a standalone league i love you wore 54 right in that first speech about like you being the 54th person maybe you got cut maybe you're the last cut in the nfl and it's a standalone league yes but if you're josh gordon and you get a chance to get back out on the field and i've known josh a long time and i frankly i root for the guy Realize i want to see him shine and Keep he it herbal. on uh, Saturday night as Seattle gets a victory. How important, DJ, is it for guys to have that opportunity to show people what they still are as competitors? It's critical, Scott, and it's everything. Again, it's one of our anchors of the league, second chances, uh, league of passion, grit, etc. You know, you have a guy like Josh Gordon, who I root for, too, as well, hooking up with Ben DiNucci, uh, you know, and, and two incredible plays, especially that game winner. You see for guys like a Josh Gordon where, for whatever reason, uh, life has taken them on this path. But right. at the end of the day, they strap up that chin strap and they lace those cleats because this is what they love to do and they're so passionate about it. And they all have chips on their shoulders. So by the time they're wearing the X on their chest and they're in our league, you could feel that passion. You feel that chip. I mean, look, there's two former NFL guys right there, Danucci and yep. Gordon. Uh, you know, and they're hooking up in the way that they did to get that big win. So I was very happy for them in the hell of a game. You have been and are the face of so many different things, whether it's film or products or a sport. And there's only so much room that any of us have on a plate. And so I'm just interested in, in what made you say, you know what, my plate's full, but I'm carving out some space on my plate for this league. I want to I wanna be part of this. What, what was it that was appealing to you? It was the opportunity to create a league that I wish that I had, Scott, when I was around. I was a good player, and I had great, what, what Coach Ed Ogeron used to say, I had great upper body violence, <laughs> which is a compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, the allure of this was my longtime business partner, Danny Garcia, she said, I have this crazy idea. Let's go buy the XFL. And... Immediately, Scott, it was, the, it was the easiest yes I ever said because we both knew immediately, hey, we have an opportunity here to not only uh, become owners of a game that we love, but then also create this culture for second chances for guys like me, who there are 53 men on an NFL roster. I was always number 54. So when we went up to the NFL, by the way, uh, in New York, and we sat with Roger Goodell and Troy Vincent and their team, I shared that story with Roger. I said, so our goal here, that we have a league of 54s, chips on their shoulders, passionate, gritting it out, and also, too, finally, uh, here, Scott, the, the allure of the XFL for us as owners is to grow the game of football. Mm -hmm. And, and I, that was my last thought, really, was you, you've been a guy who's dreamed big, and, and I would assume on some level maybe, I will say, ouch, you know, out succeeded your dreams, but my God, you've lived them, right? And if this dream comes true, in this lane, this league, it, what does it ultimately represent? Because you, rec you recognize the challenges. It's been a tough space to make this work here. If it works and the dream comes true for you in this league, what, what happens? Man, I don't know if you can see, but I got goosebumps right now that you just asked me that. Um, it's the first time I've ever been asked that. If, if the dream comes true and the league works, then uh, I think it just represents – Follow your passion. If you believe in something, go for it. This was the third iteration. So, right. you know, hopefully right. third time at. is the charm. 
this would be beyond my dreams, though, Scott. This is a league to service the dreams and the hopes of other players that, that I didn't have. So I, fingers crossed. We'll see. You know, we've got some pretty good momentum. Um, we're playing some great football. That's the bottom line, as you know, and the viewers know. It's just a quality of football. So the players have been showing out. They've been gritting it out, leaving it all, all out on the field. So, so far, so good. Yeah, the buzz building here in D.C. Defenders move to 3-0. Uh, you're, you're in the middle of a workout. Don't skip leg day, right? Well, that's a very important thing. So I'm sure you have something to get to. I don't want to get in the middle of that. So I appreciate, D.J., the time. Continued health and success, DJ. my friend. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. Keep up the great work. Appreciate you guys. See ya. Follow your dreams. We continue on Sports Center. One number one team needed an epic buzzer beater while the other continued a season of absolute Brooks dominance. Madness, baby. The top squads in the nation are next. Go UMass.